In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called graphing a rational function with more than one vertical asymptote. We're asked here to graph f of x, and we're going to start with vertical and horizontal asymptotes, look at intercepts, if there are any, and then plot a couple of points, one on each side of the vertical asymptote. So I will start with vertical asymptotes. This function is in its simplest form, so my vertical asymptotes will occur where that denominator equals zero. We would factor and set each one of the factors equal to zero. We can factor here by trial and error. x squared would be x and x. The signs are the same to multiply to be a positive, but since my middle term is negative, it must be negative and negative. The factors of 14 are either 1 and 14 or 7 and 2. 7 and 2 work nicely. Setting each of these factors equal to 0, the first factor, x minus 2 equals 0, gives us x equals a positive 2 as a vertical asymptote. The second factor, x minus 7 equals 0, solving for x gives us x equals a positive 7. So a second asymptote through x equals 7. For horizontal asymptotes, we look at the degree of the top, which is n. Here that degree is 2. And the degree of the bottom, which here is also 2. And whenever those degrees are equal, our horizontal asymptote is y equals the leading coefficient of the numerator, which is negative 2, over the leading coefficient of the denominator, which here is 1, so negative 2 over 1, y equals negative 2, is our horizontal asymptote. Next, we were asked to find intercepts, if there are any, and I'll start by looking for the y-intercept, which is where x equals 0. If we substitute in 0 for all of our x values in the numerator, we have negative 2 times x squared, so 0 squared, plus 18 times 0. In the denominator, 0 squared minus 9 times 0, plus 14. My numerator simplifies to 0. My denominator simplifies to 14. I found both the x and y intercept because we have the point 0, 0. So the last thing we need is one point on each side of the vertical asymptotes. We already have one on the left of the leftmost asymptote, so I'm going to plug in x equals 4 to use as a point between those two asymptotes. When I replace x with 4 in each one of those occurrences, I get negative 2 times 16 is negative 32, 18 times 4 is 72, in the denominator 4 squared is 16, minus 9 times 4 is 36. Simplifying further, my numerator is 40. My denominator is a negative 6, so this simplifies to be a negative 6 and 4 6, or negative 6 and 2 thirds. Plotting that between negative 6 and negative 7, and then one more point on the right of that rightmost asymptote, I can plug in a positive 8. Replacing x with 8, gives us a negative 2 times 64, or negative 128, plus 18 times 8 equals 144. In the denominator, 8 squared is 64, minus 9 times 8 is 72, plus 14. Our numerator is a positive 16, and my denominator is a positive 6, so a positive 2 and 4 6, or 2 and 2 thirds. When x equals 8, y is 2 and 2 thirds. Using our asymptotes now, on the left hand side, I'm approaching the asymptote and going through this point before approaching the other asymptote. Underneath, I'm approaching the asymptote on both sides, and on the right hand side, going through the point and approaching both asymptotes gives us this as our graph's shape. 